just starting the teardown of the uh, 92 Briggs there with the JB welded connecting rod. The uh, first uh, sign of damage I've found is the broken sheared flywheel key, of course. Uh, you can expect that from how fast the engine came to a stop. But luckily it didn't damage my rare uh, heavy type flywheel here with the gear on the bottom. It's the only one of its type that I've ever seen. It's made of some, I don't know, like lead-based product or something. It's uh, not cast iron anyways, but uh, glad to see that it wasn't damaged. So I'll, you can see my special gas tank bracket that I had to make there since the original one was broken out of the block. Just wanted to show the position that the piston came to a stop in. Also uh, interesting how the exhaust valves are a little whitish there. I don't know if it's gasoline I'm running or what's going on. But there's no visible indications that the piston hit the cylinder head. It is possible that it did, but I, it doesn't look like it to me. So we'll continue with the tear down. Here's the crankcase cover removed. You can see down the bottom left there by my thumb, there's uh, some pieces of JB Weld as well as some black plastic. Another piece of black plastic up in there. Not very impressed with that since uh, there's another piece of black plastic. Um, obviously part of the camshaft. I purposely ran a uh, solid plastic camshaft in this. Camshaft doesn't want to remove so we'll have to stop the camera but uh, that's one of the camshafts out of the uh, Briggs 327 uh, three-cylinder radial there. I wanted uh, lightweight camshafts in it, so I guess I shouldn't have borrowed it because this one's definitely toast now. So you can see there the connecting rod's uh, broken off over against the camshaft, removing uh, pieces out of the camshaft. Well, the engine definitely suffered some one-of-a-kind damage. You can see the amount that got broken out of the plastic camshaft. Part of the intake lobe's gone. It also broke one gear tooth out. But uh, that's nothing compared to what it did to the block. I got looking at it when the camshaft didn't want to come out. And if you look close here, see the valve tappet is no longer lined up with the center of the camshaft here. It's off to this side. So it broke it uh, down in there, and the, the tappets don't want to come out. They're they're jammed. You can see the the break on the the crankshaft there. I'll get better views of it. So here's the uh, piston end of the connecting rod. Someone was asking me what the brake looked like on it uh, before I JB welded it up. Couldn't 100% remember because it's been about four months, but you can see there what's left of it now. And then uh, back down here, you can see the piston, it's rotated about 45 degrees in the bore, and it was up towards the top. There's a, there's a gouge down right there that uh, matches the block and the piston, so looks like the connecting rod uh, hit the two of them some point and then down in through here see a crack there and it pushed pushed this hole there's another crack over here pushed the, all the valve tappets uh, sideways I'll take that breather off there to have a another look at it so unfortunately this blocks toast I was kind of hoping for a repeat test but I can't do it with the valve tappets way out of alignment like that Man, we've got some unbelievable carnage going on there. I'll move it around so you can hopefully see it better. The exhaust valve springs off center, but look at the bottom, what it did. Just crazy. Humped it right up under the exhaust valve. Crack extends all the way over to here. Better video there. It's not showing up very well. 
crack us all the way over there. You can see my fingernail there. That's the reason why you don't stick your finger in a V-belt pulley. Cuts just like a knife if you do.